Hi everyone. In this month's journey video, I'm going to show you how I published three podcasts, including one which is a video podcast, all using AI. AI helped me produce, AI helped me post process, and AI helped me publish. AI also helped me create a whole video series. Let's go on to our next stage, which is the post-production stage. The post-production stage, AI-assisted post-production, my favorite thing. In this section, we will cover the features of AI I used during the post-production phase. For this experiment, I recorded my second podcast series with a regular everyday mic, something I use every day for my office calls, etc. And I did that in a semi-noisy environment. Like I said, I live in a house with four adults, two kids, and a dog. So finding a quiet place is like finding a needle in a haystack while on a moving train. So I had to focus on noise reduction and improving the quality of my recordings. There are some really high-end audio tools and software out there that a savvy post-production engineer can use, like Adobe Audition CC, Isotope RX8 and Isotope Neutron 3, but I wasn't qualified enough nor had the financial means to acquire them. So this required me to either know how post-production worked, equalization, spectral analysis, etc., or hire someone. This prompted me to find more affordable and equally awesome tools that did a lot of this on their own and did not require me to do a lot of work like equalizing, etc. The complete results can be found on my podcast, Obscurate, which is also out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts. Now, before we jump in and see how I used it, let us let me explain how AI noise cancellation works. AI noise cancellation works by using advanced algorithms to detect and identify the type of noise in a recording. Once identified, the algorithm then filters out that specific sound and reduces it to a level that is imperceptible. This allows for recordings with very low background noise levels, even when talking in noisy environments like airports, cafes, or busy streets, or a noisy house like mine. This is different from your noise-canceling earphones because that is hardware-driven noise cancellation. And that cannot adaptively change to different levels and different sounds of noise cancellation and taking out artifacts. I use the below tools and services to improve my sound quality. And most of them are very user friendly. I use Podcastle's Magic Dust, which is a service that uses AI models to detect and reduce noise in a recording. It also adds improved clarity and reduces background noise. You can find more details about this in my description. The podcast also has other auto equalizing tools, etc., and so on and so forth. Then I use Buzzsprout, which is the publishing service that I had used, and we'll get to that during the publishing part of this video. Buzzsprout has its own proprietary tool called magic mastering and this is a service that uses ai to boost sound quality it can analyze the sound and add in audio effects like compression equalization and reverb for improved clarity more details again on the description but the technology that blew my mind was adobe adobe's podcasts speech enhancer this tool used AI to reduce background noise, improve clarity, and add natural reverberation. It can also adjust the level of sound sources automatically. The tech is good, and it's really amazing, the results that you've seen before, but it is not completely a home run. I had to still do some tiny bit of adjustment, and that required me to learn a little bit of how a post-production engineer works and a little bit of equalization. I actually linked a superb article that explains it in very simple terms. And if I can do it, I'm sure anyone can do it. 
now that we have our very well post-produced podcast ready let's move on to our publishing phase the publishing process this part of the process is less ai and more human but i wanted to cover it so people knew what it took to publish your own podcast so here's how you take your podcast that you created to all the popular services i'm going to simplify this or i'm at least going to try to simplify this for you and save you hours and hours of your own research time i've linked an article which does a great job of explaining all of this in detail but i will try to summarize that each of these services like apple podcasts spotify and google podcasts all operate independently they are what you would call directory services which means they act as a gateway to the podcast and are in charge of distributing that content to their users in order to get your podcast listed over in those places you have to host your podcast and provide an rss link or rss feed link to each of them essentially what you're doing is providing a web page which has basic information on your podcast and a link to where it is stored there are a lot of hosting options for generating an rss link a quick side note i was really surprised that the whole podcast industry ran on rss like it was like back to the 2000s for me coming back to the subject i however will recommend using services like buzzsprout that are built to take the legwork of hosting your own rss feed and basically have a good way of like integrating and pushing it to the different directories once you have it hosted you can then integrate or push your rss feed into the directories so you can see how i use buzzsprout here to take the integration from one place and push it out to all the services there you have it i'll walk you through how to research your podcast how to produce your podcast how to do post production to it and finally how to publish it all these tools like generative ai audio tools are amazing mind blowing tech we're not completely there yet where they can actually replace a human voice but they're really close they could for applications that don't require a creative voice and i believe it is a good tool for everybody outside i wanted to interrupt this video to pitch my video about using machine learning and ai to teach science to kids in an engaging way by the way i am not real I am completely computer generated. Follow this channel to see how Chakra is using AI and AI generated folks like me to make education more accessible.